weather. Um, it's Melbourne weather. One day you have 40 degrees, 30 degrees, something like that, and it's really hot. And then on a beautiful Saturday, it's dropped down to 15 degrees and it's um, a bit chilly. So we've decided to go out and uh, hit a, another waterfall. Uh, this time we're going to go to Hopeton or Beauchamp. I'm not having decided yet, but uh, so we're both in the same sort of area, about two and a half dry hours drive from Melbourne. But first things that we do, we take Cassie for a walk. And a wee. <laughs> because two and a half hours is a long way for a greyhound in the car, so we're not going to take her. I'm not sure if it's a dog friendly national park anyway, so um, we leave it home. So the next stop is the Great Ocean Road, about two and a half hours from now. So uh, see you then. And we've made it to Beauchamp Falls, well to the walking track to Beauchamp Falls, which is about an hour and a half um, stroll. So um, we didn't realise it was that far, but oh well, it's been raining a little bit and it's cold. So we've rugged up a little bit this time. So here we are, everyone rugged up. Aren't we Brandy? <laughs> yes. So we're heading to Beauchamp Falls through this beautiful Dad, rainforest I don't need to hide anymore. Rangers. Dad, can you cut? What does it say, Randy? No motorbike. But there were there, there were more here, but they fell out or something. No motorbike. There's gonna be a carnivorous black snail near the track, and if if Brandon would move out the way and see a picture right down here, Brandon moves out the way. <laughs> like it had uh, killed anything recently uh, no you know, tourist droppings or shoes or anything like that so I'm not sure if it's attacks during the daytime <laughs> so apparently the carnivorous snails are only dangerous at night and uh, there were no dangers to the children just then but uh, if we come here in the night time I think that's when they swarm and attack uh, I think they can take a fully grown human down and completely devour them in the Awesome thing that we found on this trip a real life cicada. Psych! It's just a fake one. Well, not actually a fake one, it's a real one, but it's like a shell of one. You can see. Whoopsies!
on and I saw I had a baby on me. This is actually my mom who I threw up with mine. Because mine had a pump on and my um jacket a hoodie couldn't fit on it. <laughs> It's probably one of the prettiest ones we've been to so far. Up this way. I am coming up that way. And up, go that way. I'll come up that way. And then, and then go and go. Yeah, go ahead, <laughs> uh, I'd have to jump over the fence that way though. No, you don't. Yeah. You can just walk over there and it says, I need to go down. That's what mum said. Okay, so we're going up the path, back to the car. It's probably about half an hour, 45 minutes walk. Here. I hope you enjoyed our visit to Beauchamp Falls. Silly Dad forgot to plug in the microphone, so here he is blabbering on about some eggs we bought on a farm on the way home. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss our next video. See you next time, bye!